Not many people talk about it anymore, but the Turbo Boost technology on Mac has been around since 2010 and has moved with the times to be a great way to either improve performance or battery life on your MacBook. Here we're going to show you where to find Turbo Boost on Mac and how to tweak, enable and disable it. Turbo Boost is a performance enhancement technology found on high-end Intel processors, including macOS, including macOS. By default, macOS will enable and disable Turbo Boost automatically. However, by taking control of Turbo Boost, you can increase your Mac's battery life by up to 25%. Here in this video, we show you how to disable and enable Turbo Boost manually on your Mac. Finding out if your Mac has Turbo Boost feature. Before you move forward, you should verify that your Mac actually supports the Turbo Boost feature. Select the Apple Mac logo in your Mac's menu bar and click About This Mac. In the Overview tab, you'll find the full name of your Mac. Copy this information to your clipboard. Head over to Google and paste this information into your search bar. Add the phrase Technical Specs to the end and then hit Google Search. Google will return a list of results. Click the result that takes you to the supportapple.com website. This is almost always the top result. On the Apple Support website, check the Processor section. If your Mac supports Turbo Boost, it should be mentioned there. If the technical specification doesn't mention Turbo Boost, your Mac probably doesn't support this feature. Enabling or disabling Turbo Boost. You can manually enable and disable Turbo Boost using the Turbo Boost Switcher link in the description. Turbo Switcher is available as a free or paid application, but this tutorial uses the free version. Once you've installed Turbo Boost Switcher, launch the application. Click on the icon that Turbo Boost adds to your Mac menus bar automatically. If Turbo Boost is already enabled, you'll see a Disable Turbo Boost message. By contrast, if Turbo Boost is disabled, you'll see an Enable Turbo Boost message. You can use these settings to manually toggle Turbo Boost on and off. The first time you try to manually toggle Turbo Boost, Mac OS will ask for your admin username and password. MacOS may also block Turbo Boost Switcher from running. If you encounter a security and privacy message, follow the on-screen instructions to allow Turbo Boost Switcher to run normally. Alternatively, you can unblock Turbo Boost Switcher manually by navigating to Apple System Preferences Security and Privacy. Here you should see a message prompting you to unblock Turbo Boost Switcher. What else can I do with Turbo Boost Switcher? When manually manipulating Turbo Boost, you may want to monitor the impact of these changes on your Mac's CPU temperature and battery. You can view these metrics in the Turbo Boost Switcher dropdown and also analyze how these values change over time by selecting charts. These charts display how your Mac's CPU temperature and fan speeds fluctuate depending on whether Turbo Boost is enabled or disabled. By reviewing these charts, you can identify the Turbo Boost behavior that delivers the best results for your specific model of Mac and how to use your laptop. If you upgrade to the Pro version, you'll get access to some additional features like disabling Turbo Boost automatically depending on fan speed, remaining battery time and whether your Mac is connected to a power source. As you can see, it's easy to manually disable or enable the Turbo Boost feature in the Mac. If you find that battery drains too fast, you may want to force quit some apps or fix it when it freezes up. Links to all of that in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.